Hey guys, it's Tim back for another review and unboxing. This time I'm looking at a foldable keyboard. There's a few different manufacturers and varieties of this. I've got the VTOP one, it's the 88 keys foldable electric piano. And this one I've just bought on Amazon. I've got no affiliation with the brand at all, so I can give you a really open and honest review of what it's like to play and what it sounds like. So let's get into it. All right, let's open her up. There we go. So straight away you can see Definitely very close to full size keys, which is uh, which is always a good sign to start off with. Let's get it open and see what it feels like. All right, you can see here the two different halves that are folding uh, up underneath each other. So we'll work out how all that works. Also in the box, we've got a carry bag. Looks like a pretty sturdy one too. That's really well built uh, kind of bag. We've also got the user manual and we've got our pedal. Should we check the pedal? You know what I'm like when it comes to clicky pedals. Let's find out whether these guys have done the right thing with their pedals. So, moment of truth. Will it click when I press it? Uh, oh. Okay, maybe we're okay. Only one click. Let's see how it goes when we actually play with it. Okay, so let's actually unbox the instrument itself. And the clutch, yeah. All right, now already I can feel, yeah, it's got some potential there. The key tops, they're quite shiny, just like a, a regular kind of um, inexpensive keyboard that you'd be able to buy anywhere else. It's relatively heavy. Uh, I can hold it up with one arm, but only because I'm resting on the table down here. So it looks like we have to, well, let's unfold it. Or fold it out and see what it's actually like. Here we go, moment of truth. Folding keyboard. And there we have it. That's the full instrument laid out there. So let's remove some of this plastic and then we'll get in and plug it, plug it in. I'm never quite sure why manufacturers need to use quite so much plastic wrap on their instruments, but anyway. Okay, so here's the instrument. Uh, like usual, on the left-hand end of the instrument, we have our control panel. I'll show you that in a bit. And on the far end is where all our plugs and power connections are going to go. So I think we should uh, plug it in and see what it's actually like. So they do provide you with a USB power connector. And uh, I've got an American plug here because I bought this on uh, online. I'm just going to use my regular phone charger to plug it in and we'll give it a whirl. This time, back to regular USB. So, it looks like we've got a little on-off switch here, so let's switch that on. There we go. Bluetooth mode. And that's cool, it's actually told me it's got Bluetooth, which is kind of cool. Let's give it a play. So, some things that I notice. Uh, there's not a lot of difference between the height of the black keys and the white keys. You can perhaps just see on the edge there. So, that makes playing up in the black keys a little bit more challenging than perhaps on some of the other ones like the Lexington that I've also reviewed. The uh, key touch isn't too bad. There's not a lot of travel in the keys. So, you, you will find that um, you may... If you're used to a uh, grand piano action and ones that move quite deeply, you may find that quite hard to adjust to. The the instrument itself is quite, I mean, it's quite solid. You wouldn't really know that there was uh, a split here where it, where the instrument folds. And you can... play, um, you know, most, most things. There's no funny double playing of notes. Or anything like that. The keys are definitely shorter as well. There's not nearly as much space as you would normally get on an instrument. I'd say it's probably three quarter size or thereabouts. So playing a scale like that to me felt a little bit odd. 
But I think if you're a beginner or you're uh, just a hobbyist, just getting started perhaps, and you need something that's portable, uh, probably not too bad an option. All right, let's now check out the pedal. This is where these instruments for people who know what they're doing at a piano can get can really fail. So let's see how these guys have gone. There's a socket that looks a little bit like a prawn. I'm gonna guess that that's what this is for. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well it seems to work. Let's try putting it on the ground and see how natural it is to play with. quite well actually and it doesn't do any clicking or anything weird so that's always a good sign. Over on the control panel as usual you've got lots of sounds, you've got rhythms, you've got uh, dynamics, what else is there? Uh, recording function, metronome, uh, all, the, all the regular things you'd expect on an instrument like this one. And we also know from when I plugged it in that it works with Bluetooth which is great and it also holds a charge too. Now I've only just plugged it in so I've got no idea how long it would hold charge for but that's a great thing to know that if you do need something that can be battery powered then this is one of your options. It's got a user manual too which will talk you through all the different things that it can do and as expected with the Bluetooth it does work with GarageBand uh, and it has its own app like the other one does. My guess is that they probably come from the same manufacturer as uh, some of the other ones that I've reviewed as well. Let's now pack it up and see how easy it is to put in the bag for transport. So I'm gonna switch it off. Let's unplug the pedal and the power. We'll get our bag ready. As I said, I'm very impressed. This is a really thick, sturdy canvas bag, which is unexpected in an instrument um, like this. It's, it's, it's quite common that you get quite a flimsy carry bag. Now, I think I'm right in saying that I can just pick it up and it will fold. Interestingly, there's no kind of connectors or anything like that that you need to snap in place to hold it in position. Uh, it just has to sit flat on the surface, obviously. If you're a gigging musician, the interesting thing here is if you use keyboard stands and want to put this on a stand, it does actually hold its shape quite well. It only folds apart this way. So if, if you put it on a keyboard with stands at both ends, then uh, it's actually going to stay quite sturdy in the right position, which is, which is quite good. All right, let's fold it up. There we go. And put it in the bag. And there you have it. We've got handles. We've got a handle here as well. Definitely by far the best carry bag of any of the instruments that I've reviewed. It's also got a little side pouch here, which we could put the pedal and the power cable in so that it doesn't squash with the uh, main piano. Well, if you've enjoyed today's review, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so we can notify you next time we go live. And please ask and leave any questions or comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them. If you'd like to pick up one of these, we'll put a link for where I bought this uh, in the video description. And as always, if you want more teaching tools, resources, strategies, tactics, videos, lesson plans, all that kind of stuff, then head over to my website at topmusic.co and check out the blog, the podcast, and all the free resources that we give away over there. See you next time.